Starship Flight 9 delay. Due to FAA investigation and ongoing technical checks, SpaceX's ambitious Starship program, a cornerstone of future space exploration, faces a significant setback. Initial excitement surrounding the upcoming Flight 9 mission, fueled by the successful static fire test of Booster 14, has cooled as the launch has been pushed back indefinitely. This delay stemming from a combination of ongoing technical checks and a crucial Federal Aviation Administration FAA investigation underscores the intricate and complex nature of modern spaceflight. While Booster 14 successfully underwent its static fire test, recent reports indicate a halt in further testing at the launch site. This pause suggests the need for additional inspections and modifications before the booster can proceed to the final stages of preparation for Flight 9. Similarly, the Starship upper stage, Starship 35, remains stationary with no new tests reported. This standstill, following previously successful cryogenic tests and a six-engine static fire, raises concerns about the precise timeline for Flight 9. Normally, after such tests, SpaceX would move swiftly to a wet dress rehearsal, simulating a complete countdown. The lack of progress suggests that the launch could be significantly delayed, potentially pushing the mission into subsequent months. The ongoing FAA investigation into previous Starship flights plays a critical role in the delay. The FAA's mandate for a comprehensive review of past anomalies, including the partial failure of a previous flight, necessitates SpaceX to address identified safety concerns before the agency grants the necessary launch authorization for Flight 9. This regulatory hurdle adds another layer of complexity to an already intricate and demanding mission. SpaceX's commitment to reusability, a cornerstone of their business model, is also being tested. The reuse of Booster 14 and the concurrent development of Booster 15 and Starship 30 for Flight 10 highlight SpaceX's long-term vision, but also the meticulous and time-consuming nature of the iterative process. The potential need to address critical technical issues from prior missions demands time and resources to ensure the safety and reliability of the vehicles and ground infrastructure. The intricate interplay between technical challenges, regulatory scrutiny, and the ambitious schedule underscores the significant complexities inherent in modern spaceflight. While SpaceX continues to advance its technological capabilities and infrastructure at its Starbase facility, including improvements to the launch mount and its capture systems, these measures must be implemented to address prior issues. Ultimately, the success of Flight 9 hinges on resolving these issues, ensuring both safety and adherence to the mission's timeline. The delay is a significant reminder of the rigorous standards and meticulous planning needed for missions venturing into the vast unknown of space. It also sheds light on the intricate balance between pursuing ambitious goals and ensuring the safety of space missions, highlighting the intense scrutiny that these complex projects are now subjected to. Strangely, progress on Starship Flight 9 has slowed, despite a strong start that once raised hopes for a quick launch. After the successful static fire test of Booster 14 on April 3rd, marking the first time SpaceX reused a Starship booster, many expected the next steps to follow rapidly. However, since then, there have been no further tests at the launch site. Booster 14 was recently lifted off the launch mount possibly for transport back to the production site for detailed inspections. This slowdown raises concerns about the launch timeline, with SpaceX facing technical checks and critical installations before B-14 and its upper stage S-35 can return for final rehearsals and liftoff. In contrast to Booster 14, Ship 29, the Starship upper stage for Flight 9, has remained stationary at the launch site. Since its return to the launch tower on April 4th, there have been no signs of further testing. This is surprising because Ship 29 had already completed several key tests before, including cryogenic proof testing and a six-engine static fire. Normally, after such steps, SpaceX would move quickly to a full wet dress rehearsal, simulating every stage of a real countdown without ignition. However, with no visible progress since early April, it suggests that Flight 9 could still be weeks away from launch. This delay may be linked to the recent FAA review, which now requires SpaceX to conduct a full mishap investigation following Flight 3's partial failure. The result of this investigation 
combined with technical preparations for Ship 29 in Booster 14, will determine when SpaceX can finally move forward with Flight 9. While preparations for Flight 9 are still underway, SpaceX has also been working steadily on the next vehicles. Booster 15 and Ship 2030, planned for Flight 10. Booster 15 is already positioned at the Massey's test facility, where it has completed its first cryogenic proof test and is likely preparing for a full static fire test in the near future. Meanwhile, Ship 30 is undergoing final outfitting work at the production site, including installation of its heat shield tiles and internal components. These steps are critical for ensuring that both vehicles will be ready once Flight 9 clears the way. At the same time, SpaceX continues to focus on improving its production line and testing process, aiming to increase Starship's launch cadence in the future. However, the exact schedule for Flight 10 will still depend heavily on the outcome of Flight 9 and any regulatory reviews that follow. If everything goes according to plan, Booster 15 and Ship 30 could be ready to move to the launch site later this year, marking another important milestone in SpaceX's long-term goal of building a fully reusable launch system. Alongside its progress with the next Starship vehicles, SpaceX is also upgrading its launch infrastructure at Starbase. A key focus is the Orbital Launch Mount, a massive steel structure that supports the Super Heavy booster during launch. After withstanding several powerful launches, the mount is now receiving additional reinforcements, including new shielding plates designed to better protect against the intense heat and debris generated during liftoff. In addition, SpaceX is making modifications to the launch tower's chopstick arms, which are used to catch returning boosters and ships. These upgrades aim to improve the system's precision and durability as SpaceX moves closer to fully reusing Starship components. Meanwhile, at the Massey's test site, construction continues on a brand new test stand, built specifically for static fire tests of future Super Heavy boosters. These efforts show SpaceX's commitment not only to advancing Starship's flight capabilities, but also to building a reliable ground support system. All of these upgrades are crucial for increasing launch frequency and reducing turnaround times, paving the way for Starship's long-term role in missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. While SpaceX focuses on developing Starship and its launch infrastructure, NASA is also closely monitoring the project. Starship plays a vital role in NASA's Artemis program, serving as the human landing system that will bring astronauts to the Moon's surface in upcoming missions. Recently, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson expressed optimism about SpaceX's progress, but also emphasized the importance of meeting deadlines. According to Nelson, NASA is working with SpaceX to ensure the Starship lander is ready for Artemis III, a mission currently targeted for no earlier than then September 2026. Meanwhile, NASA continues its own preparations for the Artemis II mission, which will carry astronauts around the moon without landing. This mission, set for September 2025 at the earliest, will test Orion spacecraft systems and pave the way for future lunar landings. Both Artemis missions highlight the growing partnership between NASA and SpaceX, combining NASA's deep space expertise with SpaceX's rapid development approach. Together, these efforts mark a significant step toward returning humans to the moon for the first time in over 50 years, while laying the foundation for future exploration of Mars. SpaceX's ambitions with Starship extend far beyond the moon. The company's ultimate goal is to use Starship as a fully reusable spacecraft capable of carrying humans and cargo to Mars. Elon Musk has repeatedly emphasized that Starship is central to his vision of making life multi-planetary, reducing the cost of space travel, and enabling the colonization of Mars. In the near term, SpaceX plans to use Starship for a variety of missions, including satellite deployment, space station resupply, and even space tourism. The company has already secured private customers like Japanese billionaire Yusaku Maizawa, who intends to fly around the moon aboard Starship with a crew of artists in a mission called Dear Moon. However, before reaching Mars or supporting commercial flights, SpaceX must first prove Starship's reliability and safety through a series of test flights and cargo missions. These early missions will not only refine the spacecraft's design, but also demonstrate its ability to re-enter Earth's atmosphere and land safely. A critical step towards SpaceX's long-term vision of revolutionizing space travel and making interplanetary missions a reality. 
While SpaceX is making rapid progress with Starship, the company still faces significant challenges before it can realize its ambitions. One of the biggest hurdles is obtaining full regulatory approval from the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration, FAA. The FAA requires SpaceX to complete an environmental review and ensure all safety standards are met before allowing more frequent Starship launches from Boca Chica, Texas. Additionally, SpaceX must address technical issues such as the development of the Super Heavy Booster's 33 Raptor engines, improving heat shields for atmospheric re-entry, and refining the refueling process in orbit, a key requirement for future missions to the Moon and Mars. Despite these challenges, SpaceX's progress has drawn global attention and strong interest from NASA, private companies, and international partners. The successful development of Starship could drastically lower the cost of space missions and revolutionize the entire space industry. Looking ahead, Elon Musk remains confident. He believes Starship will not only transform access to space, but also lay the foundation for humanity's future beyond Earth, starting with a return to the moon and ultimately reaching Mars. Looking toward the future, SpaceX is setting its sights on an ambitious goal, conducting up to nine Starship test flights within 2024. Elon Musk hopes that this rapid pace of testing will help SpaceX quickly perfect the Starship system and prepare for crucial missions ahead. Notably, one of Starship's key milestones will be the Artemis III mission under NASA's Artemis program. This mission plans to use a customized version of Starship to land astronauts on the moon, marking humanity's first return to the lunar surface in over 50 years. However, success in these missions depends on SpaceX's ability to overcome remaining technical challenges and secure necessary approvals. If SpaceX achieves its targets, Starship could soon become a central part of NASA's plans, future commercial space travel, and Elon Musk's long-term vision, establishing human settlements beyond Earth, starting with the Moon and later Mars. SpaceX to launch second accelerated GPS-3 satellite mission in late May. Following the successful accelerated launch of a global positioning system on a Falcon 9 rocket in mid-December, the U.S. Space Force, Lockheed Martin and SpaceX are preparing to launch another GPS-3 satellite on a fast-track basis. The satellite, dubbed GPS-3 Space Vehicle 08 SV08, is targeted for launch from Space Launch Complex 40 SLC-40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station no earlier than late May. This mission represents an outstanding collaboration across multiple teams and agencies, said USC Space Force Colonel Andrew Menschner, MD-31 Commander, in a statement. It highlights our ability to rapidly deploy an additional M-Code-capable satellite and continues to push the boundaries of traditional launch timelines. M-Code stands for military code and is used to encrypt the signal, allowing government users of the data to know with assurance that they are communicating with the GPS satellite and not a spoof. There are currently 31 GPS satellites on orbit, but the older ones are starting to show their age. During a media briefing on the sidelines of the Space Symposium in Colorado Springs, Colorado, Malik Musawir, the Vice President of Navigation Systems within Lockheed Martin's National Security Space Division, noted that about half of the satellites on orbit are past their designed operating lives. He said the two oldest satellites are about double or triple their originally intended life cycles.